This video is part of an ongoing series of videos focused on helping you set up your control process devices. The following will show you how to check your Hydro Ranger 200 wiring. Locate your Hydro Ranger wiring details in the control drawing. The wiring diagram can be used to check the field wiring to the Hydro Ranger. Open the front cover of the Hydro Ranger 200 by loosening the six screws visible from the front panel. The power connections are located in the top right corner. From the left to right, you should see ground, neutral, and hot landed in that order. The example in this video is the 120 VAC model Hydro Ranger. Located to the left is the terminal blocks where the transducer should be landed to. The number marked between black and white markings denote the transducer. Transducer 2, which is the downstream transducer, will be wired first to terminals 1 and 2. Match the white and black wires as shown. Transducer 1, which is the upstream transducer, will be wired to terminals 3 and 4. Again, match the white and black wires as shown. The shield from each transducer should be landed to terminal 5. Underneath terminals 1 through 5 are the wiring for the relays. Your application may or may not use these. Refer to the control drawings for your specific project. Relay 1 uses terminals 6 and 7. Relay 2 uses terminals 8 and 9. Relay 3 is a Form C contact and uses terminals 10, 11, and 12. To the right underneath the power wires is the terminal strip for the analog wiring. Analog output 1 uses terminals 24 and 25. Analog output 2 uses terminal 26 and 27. Please be sure negative wires are wired to negative terminals and positive wires are landed to positive terminals. Many times with analog signal problems, wires were landed backwards. Once done with the wiring, close the lid and tighten down all six screws. We hope you have found this video helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with any future content. For other technical videos, visit our YouTube channel.